Hi everyone, Larry Satchwell here. This is part of my series from the garden to the table. Today I'm going to make a recipe of pickled squash. The uh, recipe came from uh, Inspired by Charm. I'll leave a link and put the recipe, of course, down in the description below. But it said it tasted a lot like bread and butter pickles, and I love bread and butter pickles. And this is another way to use it, and if, we, if I like it, I'll go ahead and can it. A couple of hours ago, I cut this squash up and some onions, and it said to put it in a, uh, add salt and put it in a bowl and drain off the excess liquid. There is a lot of excess liquid here. here. I went ahead and put it in this colander, and I'm just going to dump this into the sink. I thought it might make them a little crisper if they weren't sitting in their own water. But here's a warning. Never yell or talk into one of these things because it'll strain your voice. Got to get a dad joke in. So I have all my ingredients here. It says three quarters of a cup of white vinegar. I'm not a very good cook. One teaspoon each of dried mustard, mustard seed, and celery seed. Put that in there and one cup of sugar. Now I have to bring this to a boil. I've got this on medium high, uh, about seven and a half or eight. Right here I have my pint jars sterilizing. They're, haven't, well, they are come to a boil, so I can turn this off. You always want to sterilize your canning jars, and I don't plan on canning this batch. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. You need to let it cool for at least 24 hours and kind of marinate in that in the brine, and before you can know if it's really going to taste good. So I'm going to keep this on the heat until the sugar is melted. So now I need to re-add this to the boiling mixture and bring it all back up to a boil. Doesn't seem like there's enough liquid in here, but I'm following the recipe exactly this time, and I am known to modify recipes if I think they need to be tweaked. It's come back to a boil, and so I think I'm ready. It didn't say how much this makes, but it only called for four small squash, so I don't, didn't think it was going to make very much, so I've only prepared three jars I'm going to go ahead didn't say what to do with this liquid, but I'm going to go ahead and use it here. Cover these pickles with it. Well, that's it. That's all. It's uh, pretty simple. I'm going to let these cool and put them in the refrigerator. And 24 hours should be just in time for lunch tomorrow. And I'll let you know how they are. Well, this is the half quart it made. They've been in the refrigerator for a little over 24 hours. It's a little cloudy. I'm not sure why it's clouded like that. Let's see if I can get an onion. They're crunchy. That's crunchy. They taste just like 
bread and butter pickles. Only they're a lot crunchier than the cucumbers that I made last year. I think this is worth canning. I'm gonna have the rest of these for lunch with a little bit of a ham sandwich. Thanks for watching. I give this recipe two thumbs up.